So when I shared about my whipped cream dispenser on Instagram, you guys were like mind blown about this. And I guess I just like always seen them in my life. So I didn't think of it as any mind blowing thing. But I'm about to fill it up and I thought I would show you how I do so. The reason we got a whipped cream dispenser is I love whipped cream on things. I love whipped cream so much. Um, I don't like making whipped cream, like in the mixer and such, making all the dishes, takes time, etc. Every now and again I would buy canned whipped cream, but goodness the ingredients in there are not okay. Yeah? So, well, they're, it's not that they're not okay, it's just they're not something we want to consume on a regular basis. Hamish, I'm doing this and you need to keep an eye on your hot chocolate. So, Hamish asked if they could have hot chocolate, he's making it right now, and I'm going to make it. So this is my whipped cream dispenser and it's parts. These are the NO2 cartridges that you need to buy. You use one every time you fill this. Um, and on Amazon, they're not a ridiculous price, so I'll link them. I suggest using a measuring cup because if you overfill it, it doesn't, um, it doesn't, fill, it doesn't work properly. It's a yes, for sure. It's a battery. So mine holds 500 milliliters. So I'm using this jar. It's got measuring on it. So I do a splash of vanilla, and then I do a glug of maple syrup, a couple tablespoons probably. This will just lightly sweeten it. And then I take the heavy cream and I top it up to the 500 milliliter mark, which is 16 ounces. So then I pour it in here. I actually pretty much know the mark on which it's full and if I wasn't doing this on camera I would just be eyeballing it but for the sake of you guys I'm showing how to do it legit so there's different tips this is my favorite so I put it on put it on here Now everyone is gonna have slightly different instructions, but this is how I do it for this. The other thing is you can actually do a can of coconut milk in here, um, and it whips just like whipped cream with a can of coconut milk. You have to chill it overnight, but otherwise it works amazing and it's mind blowing. So we screw this on, and it charges it. So then I'm gonna shake it for 10 seconds. After I've shake, shook it, it sits on the counter on its side for a few minutes. And this helps it like properly charge it, so to speak, um, so that it cut, like if I tried to use it right now, it would come out pretty liquidy, but if I let it sit a few minutes, it will come out amazing. So just you wait and see. A whipped cream dispenser is ready to go and um, I always test it in the sink first. We are good to go, because one time I uh, did it and it like shot across the room. So, test it in the sink first. Yeah, first now, I got my coffee. Tastes good. Oh yes, that's how you start a Friday. Yeah, right. That's a little silly looking there. <laughs> Now the kiddos are all waiting. Oh, not your mouth there, kid. That's my like lower. You don't want whipped cream? Uh, I can do it myself. 